Hey, what's up? Here we go again, amigos. Breaking, pushing hard, trying to make the green dough. Hey, you see, it's all you see, looking out your window. With the and falsities, always under control. So we welcome everybody to the triple M. If money making money, then we add it again. You know that we are grown, so we tell your friend. Keep watching all our videos so that we can entrain. Amigos! What's up? Welcome back to Atrocities Upon Cities, where as always you see a progression of every day. Today we're going to show you a great video on where we just clean up this decomposed granite. As I tell everybody, this is one of the jobs that we look for the most. You know, this is a perfect job that we've been waiting for, and then we get to go. Let's get at it. You know, so you start by going around picking up all these big weeds first by hand. You know, you got to pull all the big ones by hand every time, no matter what. If you don't pull the big ones by hand, it's not going to work. So Joel, one of our workers that helped us in this job, went ahead and started pulling all the big ones. I went to the back where you'll get to the end and we cleaned up and then Paola did other things in between. So everybody's always doing something different and nobody's asking somebody else questions to make sure that we all get this job done in time. If not, we wouldn't have been able to finish all four cleanups and this decomposed granite job. So good job to everybody out there, Paola, Joel, and me of course. We did great as you see first we go ahead and pull everything and then we continue by hula hoeing all the areas man you got a hula hoe and rake and then you hula hoe and rake and then the next step you're gonna go ahead and hula hoe and rake one more time you know so raking all this stuff it's just you gotta find the little butts of the weeds and keep finding them you gotta keep weed whacking them you just gotta keep going it's a little tedious job trying to get all this stuff out of there you know but once you got it out we're gonna go ahead and compact it again all right, fella, so after so much raking and hula hoeing, you can see the progression already happened. You can see that Paola's been raking her life away, you know, and pushing hard and different things that we do out here, pulling all those weeds and those cracks, and she just keeps it going, man. We've been doing these cleanups for years. We're gonna get ready to just brush everything back to level, fill up all the slow areas. After rain, a rain creates a little gutter there because water finds its way you know so you see me here brush leveling everything back and forth making sure that we level the areas the border getting ready for recompacting after so much hula hoeing and so much doing other things pulling all the weeds of course the decomposed granite came loose again so you have to compact it and that's something that a lot of gardeners out here don't understand they don't know because they didn't do the decomposed granite job so that's something that today we're going to keep concentrating on and working towards and finding jobs exactly like this one because we are professionals at it and because I have specialized knowledge in 10 years of doing this work. So today we get to find these certain customers. I'll walk door to door if I have to, but I will find them. We'll show you how it gets compacted and how much water we have to put to make sure that different things work, you know. And I always tell in my other decomposed granite videos, if you put too much water, forget about it. Just come back tomorrow, you know. But if you put enough and just walk around, know that it's not mushy, that you could be able to compact it, great. Just like this, you know. So you'll see me just go with the compactor back and forth. You use that bar it has a swivel action so you can turn it and you can get those edges really good you know I switched into my tennis shoes if I've been using boots all week and you know it's hard you know so using tennis shoes it's not the best idea because my shoes get wet but it's okay we get it done you know I've been doing compacting for the same amount when I first started compacting it required two people and a lot of work and a lot of elbow grease fellas but I've mastered the position of using the compactor I know which weight I know what it does and that's that's how it works you know I'd rather use this machine than the mower because it's just the way it works there's more money in this than there is in gardening and there's a lot of houses out there people don't want to pay me to do the decomposed granite job but they'll pay me to clean it up Amigos, what's up? So there you see me trying to save the day. If I would have kept going straight, I would have ran right into the water. It would have been a mushy mess. But this is why I've been so experienced at compacting. I knew I must stay away, wait a little bit, it'll dry. Go wait until you compact the first time. You'll find some areas that didn't compact. You'll be able to pull the DG back into it. The homeowner had asked if we were gonna be able to bring in more DG. I told her you didn't need it. The rain had just pushed it around and it, it was here. 
it was still here sometimes when other people don't do the job and they don't compact right like I am doing today then when it rains again like we say if the gardeners go ahead and hula haul the areas pull all the weeds rake it make it look nice the DG is loose so the next time that it rains guess what that DG you're gonna find it down the street you know right here when I compact it it makes sure that the water makes it more level and there's a ways to cure it after you're done compacting it but I can't show you all my tricks fellas I'll show you the broom finish at the end so you can see what it looks like and that's all we can tell you man look at that BAM brand new you know it looks like the first time they did it maybe even better who knows but you guys all remember our trailer setup man it already paid for itself plenty of times even by this so thank you guys all for watching we're going to be able to upgrade our 2020 ultimate care setup and you'll see another video Amigos, welcome back. So here we are at the same decomposed granite job. We made all this pile front and back, pulling back and forth. So you know how we do it. We make piles out here. We had told them that we were going to take it with us, but they said to go ahead and make sure we could just pick it up next time that they empty out their can. Remember out in California, everybody gets a green waste can. So we're able to just drop the trash in there. And when we can make a pile, it helps out. So thanks a lot to the owner for being able to let us do that. It helps out. And then there you guys see us walk into it. Everything was weed whacked. Everything was down to floor level. You know, all the areas are ready to go ahead and just prepare for the summer and make sure you do what you do. You know, nice and shaded in this tree. That's why you can tell things grow. Water settles. A lot of things help. You can tell the farther you are out, the less. And then we're just going to go to this cleanup. You know, we're not going to talk too much and we'll go something like that.
guys, sellers, welcome back. So there you have it, man. You saw me we whack everything. Paola's going to go ahead and just get ready to mow. You'll hear her. There she is, you know. The owner said, hey, I have a weed whacker here for you. I have a mower. If you guys can give me a better deal. I'm a nurse. I've been busy. So we said, yeah, of course we can. You know, we signed up a great deal with her. She gave us a good little starting bonus. So, bam, we're going to already sign. We have three houses in the same street now. So that's great. You know, this is the new city that we moved into. We've been doing great in the new city. But we're going to go into a new one, too. You know, we like starting over in different places. And like that, we continue to grow. There you have it today. We also helped Ron first clean up of the day. He said, hey, well, I got a crazy clean up in the beginning. Can you please help? I said, of course, we're going to bring Joel. We're going to bring Paola. We're going to bring the professional crew. And guess what? Ron's pretty good, too. So good job, Ron. And then there we have it. You know, we're going to go ahead and leave it ready for him. He was going to go ahead and do final touch-ups. The lady loved it. I'll show you guys a new rock cleanup that we did today. This was a progression of a couple cleanups we did on Friday. And, and now we're just going to show you. Amigo, so here you go, man. This house is crazy, you know. It's like always um, the people are building these houses and these HOAs and they're not putting paper underneath and the homeowner has to pay for it a couple years after they move in when all these weeds come in. It snowed twice in Roseman, which hasn't almost ever happened. So there's a bunch of weeds right here. We didn't sign up to clean this area. We said we'd make it in a bigger pile and like that, make it easier for them. And it was great. You know, we went ahead and weed whacked this area. We had said we were going to hand pull most areas, but after we came back, they moved a couple cars and we found out that it wasn't the case. You know, we was just too infested in weeds to go ahead and take over so here's how you guys see man pulling rocks pulling weeds in the rocks isn't the easiest thing we do but it's one of the funnest you know it keeps you entertained most of you guys don't understand or don't know but i've been to the harvesting field while i used to have my business maybe year two or three of our business while paola did a couple houses me and one of my nephews we used to go to the fields and work about six hours on a crazy deal even the field people will help us get out of there quick just so we can go get the cleanups that we do today now we just concentrate on cleanups and do different things that we have never done before you you know after working over so many years we have learned this isn't one of the easiest jobs ever this is actually the hardest thing to do these rock jobs are just too much you know when it snows like this there's nothing you can do you can't even say it's the homeowner's fault it just snows you know so i'm glad they called us early and some areas were still overgrown but we got it done so we'll show you what it looks like at the end and like that you guys can see how fast i pull weeds and this is what helps out of course we still pulled weeds we hula hoed we blew we did everything that it takes we're gonna go ahead and come right back on the triple m to make sure that we weed spray heavy like i tell you guys i'll put it up on myself i'll double spray just because i want to want to pull these weeds again you know we had to go ahead and weed um weed whack these areas over here we had to, we did pull many and we pulled biggest areas we still pulled all the big weeds we still weed whack the ground level we didn't break any windows so we're happy you know and on this area over here of course we tell you guys that something's going on out here in california somebody knows something they even open landscape rock centers so they're building hoas with rocks check it out fellas this is what we see and we're gonna just take it to the end thank you for everybody that watched i'm gonna show you the poppy festival out here well there's no festival this year but it's the poppy field we have the poppy reserve and i'll show you that then thanks and you see, amigos. 